Pearl. Oh, hold on. Inventory is. Oh my god, who is she? Oh, sorry. Hello. Uh, we gotta give Pearl her eyes back. I mean, poor thing. No wonder she's uh, she's so out of sorts. She's missing her eyes. That would make getting around very difficult. Normally, much less in a labyrinth. Oh, I forgot how annoying these guys were. Um. Stop screaming! Stop it! Stop it! I don't have time... These little guys, I swear. Oh, hey, Leonard. I'm glad to see you're sticking around, you know? You know, I feel like Leonard would be a... a fun puppet to get a drink with. He... He's got a great outlook on life. Unlike Norman. Norman feels like he's trying too hard, you know? Norman, uh... Norman, I feel like, would be exhausting because he's constantly looking for validation. Leonard knows what he's about. Oh, this is terrifying. Where are we? Oh, that's how we get back into that area. I was like, I, I knew there was a, it said there was a door there on the map. Um, but it was, like, really unclear. I feel like something's gonna come through. I didn't open up one of these and I feel like something's gonna come through. What's on the other side? A really... Where am I? Even the game doesn't know where I am. Is that Leonard with a, a gun? Leonard, don't do anything rash. I'm warning you. Where am I? Oh. Did the statue come to life? That was a statue, right? That's actively terrifying. Because that did used to be a statue. I know. Because I saw it earlier. Not moving. Horrifying. Truly. What the? I'm in set storage here. Um... What am I looking at? Ooh. Oh, that's nothing. Okay. What is this? My Friendly Scandal. Oh, no. Trouble brewing at the My Friendly Neighborhood studio. The City Tribune, Thursday, August 26, 1982. My Friendly Scandal. Richie Bromine, known for playing Stevie on the long-running children's show My Friendly Neighborhood, is leaving that production after one of the puppet performers, Ray, attempted to hit him with a clothes iron during an on-set conversation. The fracas erupted after Bromine had made critical comments about the show's creative direction, including creator Al Gerswald, according to eyewitnesses. It's always been just like this on set, said Bromine in an interview. It's not just Ray. Pearl, Goblet, Ricky, they're all crazy. He added, this has been a long time coming. No one takes me seriously because I'm on MFN. I'm ready to have a career that's more widely recognized. Ah, so I see. They had already started getting a little bit, uh, a little bit unruly back in the day. What are we, what are we looking at here? Nothing? Does this, does this do anything? Does that do anything for you? Okay, well, that's not doing anything. Uh, do I feel like I have seen these symbols somewhere before? Maybe not. Maybe I'm misremembering. It's a little unusual. Uh, we do not have a safe code. It's important to remember that this is here, though. So let's go... Uh, 
we need to go back to the prop department. Yes. I'm always trying to remember where I am. Uh, oh, wait, no, we're good. We can just go through here. And we can now go into this room that we couldn't before. Whose dressing room is this? What is this? Ooh. That unlocks the, uh, the play castle. It's all coming together, you know? All of the, all of the pieces of the, the puppet puzzle. Lots of peas. Really gonna test our plosives here. Uh, all the pieces of the puppet puzzle are, are coming together, and maybe, maybe if we uh, get some intel on Pearl. God, these little puppets. I feel like they're getting into all sorts of mischief. The these small ones. Is this worth? Oh, I, I made a mistake. Oh God. I kind of, I don't want to be your friend, but I will if it leaves, gets you to leave me alone. If it makes you leave me alone, I will say yes to anything. Oh, oh God. No, no, no. Oh God. Oh God. Dog. Did you, did you hear that? Did you hear that scampering behind me? That was really upsetting. It was a really upsetting, scurrying noise. Okay, Pearl. Hey, hey Pearl, I've got glasses for you. Can I, can I give you these glasses? Pearl? Pearl? Oh! Hold on. Pearl, I need you to stay put. Did I get him? I think I did. I am a little bit concerned. Hey, Pearl! Can you can you see now? We gave you your eyeballs back. There's That's no a good girl. There we go. See, nice and calm. It's been a long time since you saw yourself, huh? It happens to all of us. We all get shocked sometimes when we look in the mirror. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, this is. Equally, um, equal parts heartwarming and terrifying. But you know what? I'm glad, I'm glad we reunited Pearl with her literal eyeballs. Uh, because if anything, now it seems like she is not going to be able to hurt us anymore. Not that she ever hurt us before. Okay. One more room for us to look in, and then we are we can leave the stage four area forever. Get out! Shut up! I th Ooh. Was that the only thing in here? It was just another cheat tape. Oh God. Oh my God. Norman's just really Really having a time in the walls, you know? What? We're in the alphabet. Uh, the, alphabet. the fact that Norman is in the walls in here is just horrifying. I remember those. 
I cause I can't stop him. I can't stop him from spouting off. From just his uh, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. And I'm never coming back. Oh wait, no, we do have to come back. Uh, oh, we do have to come back. Uh, uh, I hadn't come back through here in a second, so I had forgotten that I had <laughs> both. I had taped down Norman and I had taped down George in that room. It feels like that is our next sort of goal. Because those dogs are sort of getting getting into mischief everywhere, and it's a little disconcerting. Uh, ooh, we're good. Let's go ahead and use one of these. And then we are going to... This looks like creepy dog food. That seems like a thing that a creepy dog would like. I knew, I know if I was a creepy dog, I would love creepy dog food. Or just any dog food at all, really. Doesn't have to be creepy, creepy or otherwise. So out of the aviary. Uh, and we want to You stay put. Don't even look at me. Oh, okay. He's actually not you gotta get like really close to them before they actually aggro. Definitely hear the one that's out by the playground. Maybe this will, like, pacify them. I, I don't know if he was chasing me. We for sure do need to do that, unfortunately. Oh, I feel bad every time I do it. Stop the scurrying. The scurrying is too much. And we're going to... There, we poured food into the bowls. Dinner time, boys and girls. Your puppets, how do you eat? See, you're not so bad at all. Where you go? Oh. Oh, he's going to sleep. Okay, good night. Oh. Oh, aren't they the sweetest? You know what? I feel like we've done a good thing here. It seems that uh feeding the dogs has has freed us slightly from having to deal with them. Uh, what else is in here? It says there's a, there's something else in here. I mean, like, look in a trash, oh. Ammo on top of the trash can. Uh, yeah, it seems the, the dogs have abandoned their previous posts. I'll take that as a victory. Because now we don't have to worry about aggro. What does the playground have to offer me? I cannot see anything. God, it is so dark in here. Uh, what is this? This is interesting. Oh, this is where the, this is where the different things are on the map. I guess this door won't open unless we, uh, okay, well, we know that one's George. Um, that's the one that's right there. Yeah, we'll put George there. The terrifying little puppet friends. Uh, wait, no. 
Ricky is here. Uh, I believe Goblet. I believe Goblet was over here. I think this one was Leonard. I think. You no, know, I still have. I have Pearl. I think this one's Pearl. I think this one's Ray. I think this one might be the Puppet Pals, and I. This is. Oh! Wow, I actually remembered them all. I swear I didn't. He's gonna come to life and he's gonna try and strangle me. I swear I didn't look this up. I, I literally, I think I just remembered. <laughs> oh, okay. He, uh, he didn't come to life and try to strangle me. I'll, I'll take that small victory. Okay, so we still need one more component. And why is my... Once again, my mouse is just in the middle of the screen. I'm using a controller. Stop that. Okay. So everything's in order there. We need to find one more of these uh, film reels. So it sounds like office is where it's at. It's time to go into the office. I haven't I haven't been in an office since 2020. And I hate that I have to go back now. Especially because that office had a weird wall of eyeballs that tried to kill me. What was up with that wall of eyeballs, too? Like, we haven't seen anything quite like it since. I am afraid of that. I'm afraid of that Leonard statue at some point being a problem for me because it does seem a bit difficult to deal with if it if it comes to life. I can't shoot it with letters, probably, it's a... Oh, hello, Goblet. You good over there? Uh, we're gonna go into the music studio first. Goblet caught sight of us and decided to go on a bit of a rampage. That sound is... That sound is very loud. Uh, do we want to go? Do we want to go down to the, the sewers first? Because the room is just like right there. Yeah, we might as well. We can always come back up. We can always come right back up. So Gordon's like a... A war veteran, I guess. Hello, rat friend. Uh, Gordon's like a, a war veteran, I guess. Like, he fought in the, the War of Horrors that people were, were talking about previously. And now he's, he's, uh, he's got a whole lot of personal demons. It is very dark in here. Um, let's swap to the shotgun. I'm, I'm afraid. Please stop writing on the stall's walls. Never. Oh, we got a rebel. Truly. Oh. We found our last reel. Don't hog the toilet paper. Nothing. Did we get everything? No, there's still stuff in here. What does this say? You good in there, Norman? Everything, everything coming along all right? Everything reg nice and regular? Good, I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad my buddy Norman is having good regular bowel movements. Oh God, is this a shower? It is a shower room. What happens when you drop the soap in front of puppets? What do they do? <gasps> Wait, we found the pump piece. This was that pump piece we needed. We have everything we need. The game is afoot. 
I thought that was something sticking its hand like around the corner. This is a really eerie room considering nothing happened to me inside of it. Back over to the office. This was just a nice little detour gathering items. We don't need anything else. I don't think we have any good way. Yeah, all the all the ways between the the basements are not traversable. Oh wait, while we're here, I guess we could. Yeah, no, no. Like, so we're gonna go. Um, we're gonna go back up to the projector room, uh, and we're going to try and finish this. Uh, try and finish this film puzzle. I think Goblet seemed interested in uh, one of the movies that we were playing. So let's see if there's something else that we can do for Goblet there. It seems like we're we're kind of helping these strange puppet monsters. We already helped the dogs, we already helped Pearl. And now I would like to see if we can help Goblet. I don't know what exactly we're helping Goblet do, but you know, the dogs were hungry. Pearl just wanted to see. Uh, do we have something in here? We don't actually get a choice. We just we just gotta put it in. Okay, so let's start. Let's start with number one again. Goblet already saw that one. Goblet not interested in number one. What about number two? Goblet's digging it. Goblet is really interested in the war. Is Goblet also a war veteran? Is she depressed? Ah, she. I feel like I gotta go lend Goblet a hand. Hold on. Goblet, you okay? Okay. Where did you come from? Did you decide that you didn't want to be at the table anymore? You did. You got tired of your board game life, huh? I don't blame you. There was nobody else there to play with you but me, and I beat you. I mean, you cheated the first time, I swear. God, the, my mouse again. Hold on. My mouse just loves coming back to the center of the screen for no reason. Goblet, you okay? What's going on? You all right there? Want to talk about it? Life can get you down sometimes, huh? I know how that feels. First time I ever saw a movie as a kid, there was this scene of a man riding into this big blazing sunset, and I remember when it came up, it just caught me. I don't know if it was the plot or the music or what, but my heart just suddenly leapt like, like I had just heard an old friend calling my name. Gordon? And I sort of forgot myself and turned around, thinking someone was behind me. But all I saw was a little star of light coming from the projection booth. No one else turned around. They all were just focused on the screen. But it felt so real. So solid. <laughs> Never knew what to make of that. And eventually I forgot about it. This is a legitimately a nice moment. But it just came back to me now. Oh. You skipping a beat there, Gordon? Are you okay? 
having a little heart to heart little moment with with goblet you good goblet enjoy your movie enjoy your movie Gordon stop stomping so loudly Jesus Wait, where is this there's no way to that's just locked for whatever reason okay that's fine that was a legitimately nice moment I wasn't expecting that from a pu puppet a puppet horror game Gordon just having a little heart to heart with a with goblet there it was nice you know what? Maybe we can be friends with these puppets. Maybe Ricky's not a little shit. Maybe Ricky, maybe Ricky was on to something here. I say as I reload my gun. Uh, but we're going to have to find out if Ricky was correct next time. Who says that childish morals and feel good moments can't be can't be the star of video game. Anyway, get out. Uh, I'll, I'll see you next time. Come back later. Go outside. Touch grass. I'm serious.